thank you so much. Thank you so much. My guest coming up is an example of uh, perseverance. It's an example that you can let people understand that it is possible when you check his background, coming from a position of such disadvantage, financial hardships, having to become a, a porter or a carry, put himself through school, and ending up as a very, 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 very outstanding chartered accountant. You. Put your hands together, let's welcome Eric Ellington. I give you now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have a seat. Thank you. Finally, <laughs> we've had to meet for a long time. A very long time. It's good to see you. November Happy last year. year. Yes. Fantastic. I'm happy to be here. Fantastic. Me too. Yeah. I'm going to pause for a short minute. When we come back, we'll be with you. Okay. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Welcome to the show one more time. Thank you. Wow. Yes, sir. The first time I heard your story, I said, this, these are the kind of stories I want to talk about. You know, the, the, the hardship you go through. Not talk about the hardship, but the fact that in spite of the hardship, you ended up, something, you ended up with something very, very uh, positive in your life. You are now a chartered accountant. Yes, I am. And you came from a very, 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 very uh, poor background. Not poor background, but I went through... Tragedies in life. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. Let's start from when you lost your father and you had to become a, a Kaye at the port. You, you, you just feel free to. Yes. Uh, it all happened, you know, when I moved to Sekendi Takrade. Actually, I was born in uh, Zwarungu, Volgatanga, in the Upper East region. Then uh, at a point in time in my life, I had to move to Takrade to stay with my elder brother, who was a naval officer. That was around 88. Just one year after I moved to Second Takrade, uh, we lost our father. Mm. And uh, three months after we lost our father, my brother also lost his job. The labor, the labor officer? The naval yeah. officer, yeah. Mm. What did your father do? What? Uh, my father was a farmer. A farmer? Okay. Yes, in the Upper East region. Okay. So after he lost his job, he decided to move to Second Takrade. And uh, I was left alone in, he decided to move to Tema, sorry. So I was left alone in Secondly Takradi. Mm -hmm. So uh, I went to stay with uh, a certain man called Ayimla, so that I could be able to continue my school because my school was a day school. And uh, when I moved in, he also has his family, so I had to cater for myself. Mm. And mm. Uh, there was no way to do that than to engage in Kayaye at the Kujokrum station in Takrade. Mm. So every morning by 5 a.m. I have to be there. Mm. So I have to, it was a, my house to the station was 30 minutes walking distance. So I leave the house 4.30 a.m. by 5 a.m. a there. day. Yeah. And uh, the train, the sleeper train comes from Kumasi to Takrade every morning. So when it comes, we have the market women, those who came with cassava, those who came with tomatoes. So we normally carry them to the lorry station mm -hmm. to pick them to second D. Mm. Yeah, so that was the job I was doing. I would do that from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. I go back to the house, take my bath, take my bag, and uh, go to join the workers' train to school in Takrade. Mm. Yeah, so we join the train at Katan train station. Then we get down at New Takrade train station and we walk to Bompe. Bompe is around where the Takrade, the police headquarters mm -hmm, is here. Mm -hmm. It was quite a, mm -hmm. a long distance. So that was what I was doing from 1989 to 1990. And, and you're doing this basically to, to pay your fees and other expenses? Yeah, to, well? not to pay my fees, but to take care of myself, to mm. feed myself, mm. to buy school sandals, to buy school books. Mm -hmm. But I was not able to pay the school fees. Mm. But I had one teacher, the late Azika Trump. He was interested in my story and he saw that there was a potential in me. So he always go to the headmaster and tell the headmaster that allow this boy to stay in school. When he finished school, we can withhold his results so that he'll come back to pay the fees before we release the results. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he sort of stood in for you. Yes. They should keep you in school. Yes. Let you go through your exam. Let but go through uh, the exams. Hold, to your, hold on to your certificate until you paid whatever you owe the school. Yes, that was wow. what he was doing. Yes. So how long did you go on those on that arrangement? So it started from secondary school form three, 
Form 4 and Form 5. Wow. But interestingly, uh, when I got to Form 4, going to Form 5, I was elected the school prefect of the school. Okay. So that made it uh, impossible for the school to sack me. I had been <laughs> sack your school. <laughs> so you had not paid fees, but I had not paid fees. Your school prefect, so they didn't, they didn't sack you? No, no, they didn't sack me. So mm. they allowed me to stay. And uh, I was being groomed to be able to at least make a distinction for the school because mm. since the school started, nobody had a distinction. Mm. So I went to, finally I took my exams. And after the exams, I have to come to Tema to join my brother and uh, do some minor jobs, concrete as we call it, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes if we don't have that job, we go to the harbor to hustle. And I was saving money, the Susu card, you know, mm -hmm. they give you a card, you mark every day. And that was what I was doing, accumulated the money enough to pay the school fees. And when the results came, I went back to Takradi to pay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And my <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, thank you. And the results were good? Yeah, the results were, I got grade one distinction. Grade one distinction? Yes. Wow. The first uh, student to have achieved that resource. Really? In, in the Bump only? Yeah, in Bumper Secondary Technical School. Mm. Yeah. So you got a distinction and then went back? Yeah, I got the distinction and uh, I didn't have the money to continue schooling. So I had the results, but I didn't know where I was going. Fortunately, you know, God works in mysterious ways. There was a friend called James Ali who was retelling my story in his house. And there was, a, uh, there was somebody there, Eric Apana. He heard my story and told James Ali to link me to him. Mm. So when he did the linking, he said he would sponsor me to go to wherever I want to go, whether six form or teacher's training. Mm. So I said I wanted to go to six form. But then I got admission at Fijai Secondary School. So he paid everything for me to go to six form. Wow. Yeah, at Fijai wow. Secondary School. Yeah. Is he around? Yeah, he's around, but he's now a seaman. The last time we I uh, had a chat on Facebook. He was in France. Oh, really? Yeah, he has been going around. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He said he was moving there to Finland. I don't know whether he's still in Finland. This week, we haven't had any chat. Oh, so you're in constant uh, interaction yeah. with him? Yeah. Okay. In constant interaction. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, mm. so, th that's w so you finished with Fijai? Yes. I finished with Fijai. I did my national service. Uh, during the national service, I did savings. Yeah, because I wanted to go to the university and I wanted to be a chartered accountant since my childhood. So I saved a bit, but I uh, used all that money to buy investing forms. I bought investor of Cave Coast forms, I bought UST forms because I wanted to go either go and do become in Cave Coast or do planning in UST. And uh, we were not fortunate. It was our time that we had the backlog. So mm. we had to sit in the house mm. one year. So all the savings that I had, I finished everything up. before I got admission. So when I got admission, it was time to go around again, looking for somebody to support. Uh, fortunately, I had a church member called Paul, Brother Paul Adinda. So I went to him and I told him my story. Then he said he would take up my admission fee. So he gave me the admission fee, gave me some money for the po my pocket and I left for University of Cape Coast. Mm. And ever since, I depended on the student loan to be able to mm. finish. What about the, the guy who's studying for you? But that when you finish, you come and pay back the fees for your certificate? Yes, so he was still teaching there and I was still in constant contact with him. And uh, he became more like my father. Yeah, so all the time I go to him and update him what was happening uh, in my life. But unfortunately, two years ago, he passed on. Mm. When he was sick at uh, Kolebu, I went to visit him. Okay. Oh, were, were you able to go and pay back? Yes, I was able to pay the school You went fees. back to pay? Yeah, I went back to pay the school fees. Wow. Yeah, and so you had a fees from Form 3 to what? Form 5. To Form 5? Yes. Those days, it was plenty money. But currently, it will be like 25 cities. <laughs> 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 back in the day, it was a lot of money. Yeah, that was a lot of money. That was a 250,000. Yeah. So, you, okay. Yeah. So, you have to pay before they released your certificate? And I have to pay before they release the certificate. But, uh, you know, because of the results I got, the school, they were very happy that okay. at least 
the yes, first distinction. Yeah, I've got a the distinction. The first and only distinction. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. my results they was announced at the assembly hall. Mm. So mm. all the students knew my grade. They could mention what I got in English, what I got in accounting, mathematics. So I got to hear all my grades before I even went to the school. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. So the, 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 would they have released a certificate anyway because of your grades or you, they still wanted you to pay first? I'm sure they would have, mm. yeah, because mm. of uh, my performance. Mm. Yeah. But at least you kept your word and paid. That's yeah, I kept fantastic. My yeah, I kept my word and paid. <laughs> 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 and so you went to Kivas? Yes, so I went to Kivas to pursue a Bachelor of Commerce degree. And uh, throughout the university, I had to depend on the student loan. Then, when we were in final year, this user facility fee thing came. And uh, we needed to pay. At that time, it was, I was supposed to pay 150,000, which is 15 CDs now. Mm. So the, the SRC uh, went to talk to the school authority to give us some time. Then I had a roommate, uh, Roland Ayene Aban, who was, he was also coming from Bogatanga. I was on the down bed, you know, the bank bed. Mm -hmm. I was on the down bed. And he was on the top. He was at the top. And uh, he was also having a problem paying his school fees. I had a problem paying my school fees. So we decided that why don't we sell one of the beds to pay the school fees and sleep on one. Oh, After wow. all, if you don't pay the school fees, they will sack us. <laughs> so it was illegal, but we managed to sell a bed for 300,000. 300,000, which is 30 cities. Mm. So we share the money 15, 15. And want to pay. I want to pay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wow. Where is well, it sell the bed? Did you rent it out to another student? Or actually, yeah, we rent it out. We rent it out to another student. Yeah, but the wow. ten then was sell the bed. I guess that's yeah. the beginning of perching, eh? Yeah. The history of perching starts with. Yeah, that the <laughs> perching was already in existence. It was already. In existence. Yeah, but we had to just. Give that bed out yeah, to the guy. Yeah. Then the two of us can sleep on the, on the bed, bed. And then go yeah. and pay your fees. Go and pay our school fees mm. for the rest mm. of the year. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So now um, you're fully uh, qualified chartered account now? Yes. Mm. So after the become in 2000, I did my national service at uh, the whole district assembly. Mm. And I started the Institute of Chartered Accountancy course in 2002. And I qualified in 2006 as a chartered accountant. Fantastic. Yeah. Put your hands together, man. That's beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah. And I see here you wrote a book, A Letter to My Son. Yes. And this, is it about your experience? What, 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 what did you decide to write about? Yes, uh, it's, the book is all about my experience. Mm. Uh, what I've realized is that there are a lot of people who start with a dream. Like my dream, I wanted to be a chartered accountant. But normally along the way, you meet obstacles, like I met. Some give up, you know. So I just wrote this book to tell people that whatever obstacle that comes your way, you don't need to give up on your dream. Mm. There's always a way around mm. the obstacle. Mm. Yes, yeah, mm. so this mm. book is all about inspiring uh, people who have dreams to go ahead, no matter the obstacles, to pursue and achieve the dream. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. And what I like about it is that you are writing it because you've lived it, you've experienced it, yes, you know. Yes. It's a different thing writing a book because of academic things you've read, and it's a different thing writing it because you have lived through the very experiences you're talking about. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. So, um, the book is uh, a letter to my son. And uh, are these available for people to get? Where can they get copies if they e want to? Yes, I have copies at uh, Challenge Bookshop. Challenge Bookshop, yeah, okay. Nationwide. Yeah, and uh, I also have my number at the back. Okay. Yeah, there are people who call. You know, most of the time, it's about referral. People read and refer mm -hmm. to other people that mm -hmm. have read this book. Mm -hmm. That is very nice. Mm -hmm. So they give my number out, and people call me, and I deliver at their offices. Oh, really? Yeah. You can give that number out now. Yes. If, if there's anybody who wants to reach you okay. and read your very, very inspiring story. What number can they call? The number is 246 Four two. Okay. Yeah. And the number is on your screen as we speak. It's a letter to my son, and it chronicles his struggles going through uh, the host of being a kayai, a porter, to 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 get to where he is now. Very 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 inspiring indeed. And uh, you are married with kids. Yes. This is your wife. Uh, I'm married to Victoria Gedina. 
Okay. Uh, what does she do? She's also an accountant. Also an accountant. Yes, okay. At Compassion International. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you have uh, three kids. Yes. Um, together we have three kids. Uh, two sons. Uh, Inil Sim is the first one. Inil Sim in our language means whatever God says. Okay. You know whatever God says uh, will come to pass in your life. And the second son is called Aloine. Aloine means I've chosen God. And uh, my daughter is called Anyasum. Anyasum mm. means blessings. Mm. Yeah. So mm. these names just weave around my life. Mm. You know, mm. you know mm. because I believe mm -hmm. what I am today is because what God has said about mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. And because what God has said about my life, like God's promises, I've chosen God. And because of that, I've got blessings. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man. <laughs> And also, you, 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 you didn't just say, I've chosen God, so I'm now relaxed, you know. Yeah. You actually put work into it. Exactly. And struggled through it exactly. to get to where you are today. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. So where do you work now? Uh, currently, I work with Creative Associate International okay. uh, as a finance manager. Wow. We are implementing a US aid funded project called mm. uh, Partner West Africa Partnership for Peace. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. And you are the fund manager? Yeah, I'm the finance manager. Oh, finance manager? Yeah. They're making plenty of money. <laughs> hey, Charlie. <laughs> it's in dollars, sir. This is US aid funded. Uh, they pay us in CDs. Uh. They pay, oh, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Eric, congratulations, man. It's been a long time coming. I really wanted you to come here and share your story, you know. and. and and just let people understand that it is possible, yes. no matter what, you know, and your life is an example. And those of you who want the book, uh, it's a letter to my son. And the number you can call is also on your screen right now. You can call the number and he says he, will, he himself will get you the book. All right, thank you so much. And uh, you inspired us and God bless you. Thank you Stick around, folks. We will be right back. If you reach for that remote, I will bite you. The KSM Show will be right back.